Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the HUMAP Content Management System. In this series, I will be showing you how to create and curate content on your HUMAP instance. This tutorial is for overlays and overlay groups. Overlays are georectified historical or antique maps or modern statistical data. Turned into overlays, these can be laid on top of the base map and panned and explored. An overlay group is a collection of overlays united by a common theme. These are displayed together by default and can be explored together or separately. To get to the CMS, you'll first need to log into your HUMAP admin account. You can do that by navigating to your instance home screen and adding slash admin into the address bar and clicking enter. On the login screen, type your email address into this box and your password into this box. If you would like the browser to remember your details, click remember me and then click login. To get to the overlays dashboard, click overlays in the menu on the left. At present, creating overlays does take some work from our team. We are provided with a map. These are usually large scale scans. These are then georectified in a program called MapTiler and exported out as tiler sets, which are hosted on Amazon. Creating an overlay and an overlay group in the CMS points to these tiles. If you would like an overlay created, please get in touch with us at team at humap.me. Okay, let's say you have an overlay created and you would like to put it on your HUMAP instance. The first thing you'll need to do is click New Overlay or Create One. You can save and exit this process at any time and your overlay will not be public until you press Publish. You can also come back and unpublish and edit this overlay at any point. Name your overlay in the Name text box and then copy and paste the URL into the URL text box. If you have some pre-existing overlay groups, click this box to generate a list and then click the overlay groups you would like this overlay to appear in. If you would like HUMAP to generate an overlay group with the same name as this overlay, click yes here. You can then use the overlay type checkboxes to signify if the overlay uses raster or vector data. Rasters are image files, which are typically scans of historic hand-drawn maps. Vectors are mathematical points that represent data on the map and will have associated metadata, such as an ID number, title, description, or taxonomies. When you're finished on this screen, click date and location up at the top. If your overlay has a start or an end date, you can write that in here. Your overlay pin needs a location on the map. You can do this by searching in the text box on the map via a place name or postcode. You can also use the latitude and longitude boxes below. When you found the location, click the map to drop a red pin. You can click elsewhere to move this pin and you can also come back and change it later. You then need to add in the southwest and northeast extents of your overlay. Use these text boxes to decide the appropriate level of zoom for your overlay. For high res maps, users can zoom in much more. Generally, the smaller the map, the closer the zoom should be. The usual zoom levels are between one and nine, but if you're unsure, feel free to ask us for advice. When you're happy with the location, click Categories. On this page, you can tag your overlay with pre-existing taxonomy terms that are relevant to its content. To do so, simply click the selection box. When you're finished, click Create Overlay. If you would like your overlay to be public, click Publish. If you return to the overlays dashboard, you have the option to select that overlay and any other you may have created. You can then use the batch action option 
to unpublish or publish them at the same time. Let's take a look at our completed overlay on the interactive map. To get to the overlay group dashboard, click the button of the same name in the menu on the left. Firstly, click New Overlay Group or Create One. Name your overlay group in the Name text box. The slug will auto-generate based on your title, but you can edit it. Click Choose File, the image you would like to be the preview for your overlay group, and click Upload or press Enter. You can then add a name in the text box below. Describe your overlay group in the content text box. You can use the formatting options to make your text pop, and if you're using lots of text, remember to use frequent paragraph breaks. Whatever you write in the excerpt text box will come up on the preview of your overlay group. Clicking the overlays box will generate a list of available overlays. You can then click the overlays that are relevant to this group. When you're finished, click Create Overlay Group. It won't be public until you click Publish. Come back, unpublish, edit, and delete this overlay group at any time. Returning to the Overlay Groups dashboard, you can now select overlay groups that you have created. You can use the Batch Action option at the top of the list to mass publish or unpublish items that you have selected. To see an overlay group in action, let's head over to Layers of London. Ordnance Survey Drawings 1798-1809 overlay group has several different overlays contained within it. This is how they look on the interactive map. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video or feature, please feel free to get in touch with us at team at humap.me.